What's up everybody, this is Mike here from Vape Happy and today I want to show you the new Hayes second gen RDA by Vaped Origins. Um, it's an RDA that I've been vaping on for the last couple weeks now. It's their brand new product and I've really been enjoying it so much so that I want to shoot a video and show you what it's all about. So today what we'll do is we'll break it down, take this build out, we'll rebuild it together, wick it up, vape it together, and then we'll go into some close-up shots so that you can get a good look at all their new features that they come with so you can figure out if it's something that you want to add to your vaping arsenal. Let's get to it. All right, so here's the new Hayes second gen RDA by Vapehead Origins. It's a 22 millimeter RDA constructed of 304 stainless steel. And as you can see, it comes in the stainless steel and black versions. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything a little bit closer. And we'll start at the top with the wide bore threaded drip tip. Now, you'll see the very distinctive yellow Ulta material that Vapehead Origins is very well known for using. And it's super clean with really nice threads. And you'll see that it does have the spit pack protection. So next I'm gonna jump straight into the build deck because that's what I'm most excited about showing you. As you can see, it's really different from the rest of the RDAs out there on the market. With the horizontal top entry post design, it really makes building easy and there's a lot more space for you to work with, especially if you like to install those bigger builds. The other things worth mentioning are the three millimeter terminal holes, the five millimeter deep juice well, and of course the peak insulator to handle the high heat. Turning it over to the bottom, we'll see the stainless steel contact pin, and we'll take a close look at the threads, which are actually really nice, really smooth, and what you would expect from a high-end RDA. Lastly, as I'm sure you've already noticed, it has a built-in Ultim heatsink designed to reduce the heat transfer from your RDA to your mod. Not sure why more RDAs haven't already come like this, but I'm glad Vaped Origins included this in their new design. The next thing we'll take a look at is the press fit top cap and airflow control piece. Works just like many of the other RDAs that I'm sure you've already used or seen on the market. So depending on if you have a dual coil installed or a single coil installed, that will determine the direction in which you'll want to slide your top cap back on. And once you've got that piece snapped into place, you can simply turn that top cap to adjust your airflow. And you'll see it blocks the one millimeter by seven millimeter and two millimeter by seven millimeter airflow holes at a slight angle there. And speaking about the top cap, almost forgot to show you the threads built into the top cap here that are made for your wide bore drip tip and also your Ultim 510 drip tip adapter. So you can also install your favorite drip tip and you just screw it in like so and you are good to go. So now that I've shown you the deck and the top cap, let's get into the build. I'm going to be using my Geek Vape Clapton wire, which I love so much. And I pre-wrapped my coils already. I like eight wraps with this Clapton wire. It's the perfect distance between the post. And I built them with a three millimeter diameter, which is my personal preference when building in RDAs. Now, one thing you'll need to get used to in building this new Hayes RDA is preparing your leads at the right length, because you're not gonna be able to cut them after you install them into your post holes. So for me, I like to leave my leads just a little bit longer than totally necessary. So after I have them installed, I can adjust them slightly so they're sitting right in front of those airflow holes. I found the best flavor when doing that. So now we'll go ahead and clip our leads and you'll get pretty good at eyeballing it once you've built on the haze a couple times. So we'll go ahead and install that now. And the haze does come with a hex tool. I've just enjoyed using this little geek vape tool, it just happens to be the same size. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those. And once I've got them nice and tight, I'm gonna use this rod and pull up and tighten up my coil so they look something like that. And now that I've tightened my coils and essentially extended my leads, I'll have room to adjust my coils so they're as close to the side of the deck without touching. That way they'll be right next to those airflow chambers as I mentioned before. Now we can go ahead and prepare the second coil and repeat those steps here. 
And just as a side note, if you are newer to building, your coils will kind of turn and possibly look funky when you're tightening down your leads. Don't worry about that because they're totally adjustable. Once you pull up on them, you can twist and turn them so they're as symmetrical as possible. So they'll look something like that. And after you've adjusted your coils, it's never a bad idea to make sure your contacts are nice and tight. And now our coils are in perfect position and we are ready to preheat them and get them ready for wicking. So we'll turn down the wattage and we'll use our ceramic tweezers to pinch the coils together while we slowly heat them up, strumming out any hot spots that we'll see in that Clapton wire. We'll turn the wattage back up and pulse it slowly and make sure that these coils are heating up nice and evenly. So now that we got the coils heating up pretty nice, we'll get ready for wicking. I've really been liking my F5 cotton, so we'll get this ready here and we'll get two strands ready to go. Boom. And we'll strand each strip of cotton through fluffing out those leading ends and making sure that they're not too tight so they don't get choked up and you want to look something like that. Next is we'll cut our leads so they're sitting right at the bottom of the deck or just sitting right above the bottom of the deck is where I like to keep them. And I've sped up this section just because it can get a little bit repetitive, but I'm just gently tucking in the cotton ends into each side of the deck, making them look nice and pretty and nice and even. So they look just like that. And we'll go ahead and wick it up with our Wicked Drips Monstrous. That's another flavor I've really been enjoying. And this F5 cotton takes a little bit longer to wick initially, but once it gets going, it is rocking. So it looks like we're ready to go. We'll get this top cap installed and give you another close look at how those airflow holes line up with our coils. Just like that. And we'll get the top cap and drip tip on. And a little test fire. And now I'll quickly show you what it looks like on a handful of different mods. Here it is on the RX-75. There it is on the Segeli 213, pretty sexy. Here it is on the RX-200. Here it is on the Reload DNA 200. Here it is on the Panzer by ThinkVape DNA 200, the Lassimo L3 touchscreen, and of course my Evo by Cyclone. So that's the Hayes second gen RDA by Vapehead Origins. I hope you enjoyed the video and it helped you decide whether it was something that you would really enjoy. Until next time and as always, thank you for watching. Vape and be happy.